Hey, so I am going to basically start from the very beginning. So actually, this whole video is about to basically be about um, my experience with Depo Provera. Not saying everybody gets the same reactions, but my story definitely has to be told. So now I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, I'm going to go back to when I was 12 and I first got my period and a couple months down the road, I started to notice that my periods were extremely heavy. Like my periods have been heavy from the time I started getting them. But I told my mom and I ended up going to the gynecologist and everything, OBGYN, and they recommended Depo Provera to a 12 year old. But what they told me was that Depo Provera would basically help um, keep my periods low as far as bleeding wise that it would, you know, clear up my acne, it would increase my appetite, because I was really, really small. Like, I was in a size, like, one in jeans when I started my period. I was very tiny. I was very petite. Um, so they gave me, like, all these good things Depo will do. It'll get rid of your acne. It'll increase your body weight. You won't have a heavy period. It'll get rid of your headaches. All this other stuff is what they told me would happen. So I started getting my depo. The first time I got it, I was on depo for six years. Six years. Nobody ever informed me, hey, by the way, you might not want to be on it this long. Um, nobody told me, hey, Ange, you've been on it for a while. You might want to give your body a break. Nobody told me anything. No doctors, no nurses, nothing. I continued to get Depo every three months until I was 18 years old. Um, I got off Depo when I was 18. And my experience getting off was terrible. Like, it was awful. Um, I bled for three months straight when I got off. Um, my periods came back heavier than they were before I got on. Like, I just started to notice all these problems when I got off. Six years that I was on it, I didn't have any issues. No problems. I had a period every once in a while and then it kind of slowly faded away and I was good. I didn't have periods. I didn't have cramping. My face cleared up. Everything was cool. It was, it was Gucci. It was straight. Okay, fast forward. I'm off of it now. Started dating, you know. I'm like, all right, I'm dating now. I should probably get back on something. Hmm, eh, you know, don't really want no kids right now. So, I got on the pills. And when I got on the pills, I kept forgetting to take them. I said, you know what, whatever. I'm not about to do the birth control thing. If I meet somebody down the road, if we decide we want to have kids or we don't want to have kids, then I'll figure it out then. But I'm not going to just take birth control and I'm not having sex. Whatever. I didn't take it. I turned 20, almost 21, and I met my son's dad. Um, I knew from jump, I was almost 21. I'm like, I want a baby. His dad wanted a baby. So my son was planned. Um, Literally like didn't even have to try hard boom pregnant all right cool fast forward had my son when i was 21 i had my son um i started to notice maybe i want to say maybe about two months after i had him if you do not want to hear anything gross i suggest you click off of this video because i'm about to talk about a whole bunch of personal and a whole bunch of like nasty stuff but i need to let people know what i went through on this so fast forward, two months go by, 
I start to notice that every time I have a bowel movement, there's blood in it. Okay. Hmm. I just had a baby. It could be hemorrhoids, you know, it could be from straining, it could be from pushing. Okay, so I tell the doctor, they're like, oh, it's hemorrhoids. They kind of brush it off. Um, and, you know, they didn't really do too much about it. They just told me it was hemorrhoids, gave me some, some little tux pads and sent me on about my way. Um, and then, actually, I forgot a part. This I have to tell you guys this so that you can think back to this further into the video. Um, I got on depot when I was 12. When I was 18, I was diagnosed with a heart condition. Um. I was having a lot of like a lot of pain in my chest area like palpitations I would get like these really sharp palpitations in my chest and I would get lightheaded I would have shortness of breath it would be hard like if I stood up I would literally feel like I was gonna faint I would get pale and this went on for about six months and my mom finally was like okay enough is enough took me to the cardiologist they did a CAT scan I believe and basically told me that I had a small leakage in my valve in my heart so instead of my tubes going up and down to like make the blood flow through my body one of my tubes was just going straight up um, which basically meant that my blood when I stand up instead of my blood going all throughout my body it goes to the top half which causes me to get lightheaded um, I got diagnosed with this when I was 18. Um, they told me after that I couldn't do sports. I was not allowed to drink caffeine anymore. Um, I was on the volleyball team. I had to quit doing volleyball. Um, like it was a big deal. I had to do stress tests. I went home with heart monitors. I had to run on treadmills and do different tests. This went on for about a year. Um, and to this day, I still have issues with my heart. That was when I was 18. So I had been on depo for six years at this point. Um, now fast forward. Remember that part of the story. Fast forward. Um, I had my son, the bleeding with the bowel movement started and they kind of brushed it off. I kind of brushed it off. And this went on to this day. This happened when I was 21. I am about to be 27 in three months. And to this day, I still have blood in my stools. Still. Every time I go. Um, I also, the kidney stones. Um, I actually had to have surgery to get my kidney stones removed because they were so big I couldn't pass them. Um, so, yep. That went on, I found out about the, the blood in the stools, I found out about kidney stones. That went on for about two or three years with the kidney stones coming and going, coming and going. Every time I looked up, I had a kidney stone. Um, fast forward to 2018, I got off depot again. And um, actually, let me go back. I'm sorry y'all, I'm just trying to piece everything together because I don't want to forget anything because everything literally goes back to depot when i after i had my son i want to say i was 22 and i said you know what i need to get on something to protect myself i don't want any more kids right now he's not even two yet so i got on the pill now i had tried the pill before but i had tried a different one i cannot remember the name of the pill but I remember I took the first pill and I went to Walmart with my friend Alea and um, it was about six hours out. It was the 4th of July. I remember it like it was yesterday. I took the pill. We were doing a 4th of July party. We had to go to Walmart to get like cookies and stuff like that. Got to Walmart and literally I was on YouTube live. I don't even know if you guys remember this, but I was on YouTube live and literally my speech started to slur. The video might still be online. 
but my speech literally started to slur when I was on live and people I seen the comments and they were like Andrew are you okay like what's going on as quickly as it came I woke up and I don't know what happened but I remember I was sitting in the cart and I got up to start pushing the cart and like it's a blank I remember pushing the cart past the like decorations and I remember I started to like everything was just like spinning in front of me and I was like what is going on and I remember trying to talk but my words were slurred and I remember it literally sounded like everything was just muffled and far away and it was just echoing and I I got nauseous I started sweating I was like what is going on and I remember I passed out I was sitting in like sitting in one of the the it was the kids ones that have like the kids buggies in the front and I was sitting in the buggy and I was holding onto the bars all of this happened on live I was holding onto the bars and I remember I got off, I, mean, I think I told you guys, I don't feel good, I gotta get off live. I got off live, and as soon as I got off live, I passed out. Um, I woke up, I came to, my friend had told me what happened, I didn't remember nothing, I ended up going to the hospital. Found out that basically I had a severe allergic reaction to the pill I took and I had had a mini stroke. Um, basically a mini stroke is basically a stroke except it's not as serious it's still serious but it's not as serious um but basically I had a mini stroke and the doctor asked me have you taken anything and I told him the medicine I took and the birth control pill it was and he looked it up and literally that was one of the first symptoms from the pill was mini stroke um so fast forward that happened when I was 21 20, 22 um Fast forward to when I got pregnant with Maya. Got pregnant with Maya in 2018. Um, <laughs> as you guys should know, my pregnancy with her was terrible. It was awful from the time I found out until I had her. I was in the hospital, out the hospital, in the hospital, about to die. She's about to die. Like, it was awful. It was the worst. Literally, Maya is the reason I don't want any more kids. My pregnancy was terrible it was excruciating it was awful um I literally threw up every single day I got put on bed rest when I was four months like if you know you know 2018 was a year for me I went through it I got drugged through the ringer in 2018 um so about the last three months of my pregnancy I found out I had something called pilo Basically, pilo is a kidney issue, but it only affects one in 100 pregnant women, and it can be fatal. Um, I found out when I was about six months that I had it, and I was extremely sick. I was peeing blood. I couldn't walk. I was throwing up. It was awful. I couldn't eat. Um, so when I went to my appointment, I actually found out she had stopped growing. So they were concerned. They admitted me, and that's when I found out I had pilo. Um, now remember this part right here because it goes into the story later on as well. Um, when they told me I had pilo, my white blood cell count was at 118. It's only supposed to be between zero and two. Mine was at 118. Um, I was rushed into ICU. Um, they immediately started me on medication they blew every single freaking vein in my body. That's why I got these tattoos because all of my veins, I have so many scars on this arm just from them putting in IVs. It, it was awful. Like literally, you can probably still see this one. This where it's inflamed, that's a scar from also getting IVs when I was pregnant. Um, but basically, my first trip to the hospital was not good. Like it, it was it was awful. I went and they basically looked me in my face i went to u of m they basically looked me in my face and said they were going to call in um a special ops lady to talk about if i felt safe at home the lady comes in and it's mind you it's five o'clock in the morning i'm six months pregnant and i'm sick as hell and i don't feel good and she's asking me you know do you feel safe at home do you ever get thoughts of hurting yourself or others well are you sure you're sick and mind you, the whole time I'm sitting here, I have a banging headache. I, I feel like I'm going to throw up everywhere. My stomach hurts. I'm contracting. And I'm just looking at her like, that's not even why I'm here. 
my mom came up there. This lady looked my mother in her face and told her, there's nothing wrong with her. We think it's all psychological and discharged me. I did not know that my white blood cell count was as high as it was until last week when I looked at my charts. My white blood cell count was more than 10 times what it needed to be. Like it was 118 and it's supposed to be two. They sent me home. Soon as I got out the hospital, my mom said, absolutely not. She took me straight to Hutzel. Soon as I got in the room, Hutzel looked at me and said, something's not right. And they admitted me. They didn't even check any vitals. They just admitted me straight to the back. They checked my white blood cell count again. It had went up to 130. Um, I got admitted. They immediately started medication. They immediately did ultrasounds. They immediately did stress tests. And basically, they told me, well, you're going to be in the hospital the rest of your pregnancy. Um, so I did that. I got out for two days out of my entire stay in the hospital. I got out for Thanksgiving and I got out for my baby shower. Um, after that, I stayed in the hospital until I had her, basically. Um, I was induced when I was 36 weeks um, because she stopped growing and I found out I had pilo. Again, it came and went over and over for about four months and um they finally decided to take her I'm not going to get into my whole birth story if you want to see that it's on my page as well but i had amaya and i was healing pretty good um i did not get on depo right away i didn't get on any birth control right away um you know i kind of stayed away from it uh i wasn't sexually active at the time so i wasn't really thinking about birth control and I got back on depo. So now we're getting to the recent stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make this video super long, but I have to get everything that happened out. Um, basically, back in August of last year, um, I said, you know, I need to get on something. And because I hadn't had any serious side effects from depo that I knew of at the moment, I said, hey, depo works good for me. Never had any problems with it. It's the only one that I know I can rely on. I only get it every three months. I don't have to remember to take it. All right, I'm gonna get back on depo. I got back on depo August 18th of 2020. Um, everything was going good. And I went to get my second shot November 18th. This is when you guys gotta really start paying attention because shit is about to go from zero to 100 real quick um august and then i got my next shot november 18th i got the second shot everything was cool and about a month later i started to notice like man i've gained a lot of weight i've gained a lot of weight and my mom started to notice it like yeah you've gained a lot of weight I started to notice the weight gain um, and I started to notice I wasn't feeling good I just had not been feeling good I was always tired like I'll be on the couch talking to my mom and next thing I know I'm asleep like out cold out of it knocked out like what happened I don't remember nothing out of it um, I started to notice I'd be at work and I'd be tossing the mail and I'm literally falling asleep tossing the mail and I'm like bro something is not right like I got enough sleep last night why am I tired like this um and i just kind of started to pay attention to it i noticed that the blood in my stools increased i noticed my heart started to hurt again i noticed my fingers were swelling like if you look at my fingers they are swollen this ring i cannot get this ring off this ring has been stuck on my finger for the last four months i cannot get it off my ankles are extremely swollen my ankles are so swollen that my socks have indentation marks. Like, I have sock indentation marks on my ankles. Just something just was not sitting right with me. I'm like, no, something is not right. So I started talking to my mom about it, and she's like, you need to go to the doctors. Well, I went to go, I was supposed to get my third shot 
of this this cycle i was supposed to get my third shot on february 3rd and i walked in i remember i walked into the clinic i'm thinking everything's good i'm not really concerned too much about anything walked into the clinic and she took my weight she took my weight and i was at 173 and I was like, okay, I didn't really think too much of it. I had already knew that I had been gaining weight. I wasn't sure how much I had gained, but I knew it was quite a bit. And I went in the room and I sat on the bed and, and walked to the doctor with three other doctors. Okay, this is different. I'm not used to all these people coming in just, you know, for a shot. Um, so they walk in and she looks at me and goes, so have you had any headaches? Yeah. What about vaginal discharge yeah a regular bleeding yeah and she's just asking me all these things and i'm just like saying yeah to every single one and she just looks at me and goes you're not getting depo today okay and you're showing significant severe symptoms okay so she sits down and she starts going over my chart and she goes wow you've gained a lot of weight and i said yeah i know that's one of the reasons i'm here She's like, no, you should have been flagged a long time ago. And I'm like, what do you mean flagged? Well, apparently anything over six pounds, they're supposed to flag in your chart and you're supposed to get off of depot. Nobody flagged my account. And I said, well, how much weight did I gain? And I said, okay, well, what am I at now? She said 173. And I was like, okay, that's a lot. She goes, I'm extremely concerned. Um, so I didn't get depo that day. I left the hospital or well, I left the doctor's office not knowing what was going on. Um, I left scared. I was told I might have to get my tubes tied because I can't try any other birth control, but I can't continue depo. I was told that my symptoms could be because I have <laughs> like cervical cancer. I was told that it could be a number of things. I was told that... I might not be able to have any more kids like it was just so much and just two days prior to all of this happening i went to the hospital for the rectal bleeding and they found a mass in my colon so everything was just hitting me back to back i'm like what the heck is going on so i was supposed to have a follow-up with my doctor um i was supposed to have a follow-up with my doctor about three days after that and i woke up with a like the worst headache you can think of and I was telling the doctor on the phone and I was telling him, you know, I'm swelling, I'm having a headache, I'm having a hard time breathing. And of course they told me to go straight to ER. All right. So I went to ER. Basically they did absolutely nothing, which is what I knew they would do was absolutely nothing. I got sent home once again, not knowing what's going on. Um, today I had an appointment, went into my appointment the doctor basically tried to shove the IUD down my throat. Um, he didn't really care too much about my concerns. He didn't really ask me how I felt. He didn't like really take the time to even read my chart and see why I was there. Like it was just a mess. So today, once again, I left not knowing what's going on. Um, but basically, after I started to notice the weight gain, and after they told me that I couldn't get on depo anymore, me and my mom started to do a lot of research. If you know me, you know that I stay on Google. I stay researching. And come to find out, which I am going to put pictures of the symptoms that depo can cause. And I've highlighted all of the symptoms that I have. So I'm going to insert that in the video somewhere.
Um, but my mom, I'm driving home and I'm like dang near in tears because I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. And she's reading these symptoms off and every single symptom she's reading off. I'm like, yes, 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 I have that. Yes. And it's just like, she's reading off severe symptoms, like severe stomach pain, blood and stool, heart palpitations. And it's just like everything she's reading is stuff that I've been going through. So if you remember, I told you guys towards the beginning of the video that I was diagnosed with a heart condition um, back in 2013. And I then was diagnosed with the blood in the stool in 2015. Now, I get home, I start doing my own research. And lo and behold, I scroll and one of the severe symptoms of depo is vasovagal. which is what I have. Um, so I'm like, wow, that's deep. I got diagnosed with that six years after I was on depo. And then I start scrolling more. And the next symptom I see, bloody stool, bleeding from the rectum. Wow, I've also been having that for the last five, six years. So now, by now I'm freaking myself out. Um, excessive weight gain like everything just goes back to depot so now i'm just sitting here and i'm just confused and i don't know what's going on i'm like in my head i'm thinking the worst you know my body is messed up i won't be able to have any more kids what if i have to get my tubes tied what if i got cancer from this one of the symptoms on there also is increased risk of cancer um if you know me you know that cancer runs very strong in my family on both sides um my mom has had cancer a couple times she's had thyroid and she's also had cervical so it runs very strong in my family all of the women in my family have basically found out that they had cervical cancer before they were 27. i will be 27 in three months so i'm thinking the worst um but basically my doctors are not doing anything to really find out what's going on and at this point i'm frustrated so I'm telling my story. I want to know if there's anybody else that's going through what I'm going through on Depo. Um, because, like, it's it's insane. I'm going to put pictures of, like, what I looked like before I gained the weight. And it's like insane. I can't get my rings off. My clothes don't fit. I'm in a size 13 in jeans now. When I first got on Depo, I was in a seven. Like, I'm in a large in shirts. I'm in a large in jackets. I'm in a large in hoodies. I was in a small before. Like, my bras don't fit. My underwear doesn't fit. My socks don't fit. Like, it's, it's insane. I've really been just going through it. And I decided that I needed to tell my story. I needed to get it out there that depo is not a good birth control. It literally says in the small print, do not exceed two years. And I have been on depo off and on since I was 12 and I will be 27 in May. So you do the math. Um, nobody ever informed me, hey, you shouldn't be on it this long. 
My doctors continued to give it to me, even though they seen that I had been on it that long. They never suggested, hey, hey, like, you know, you should take a break. Let your system clean itself out. Nothing. Um, I'm going to the hospital for all these complaints over the last couple of years and nobody's putting two and two together and realizing it's the birth control. Like, it's... The last three months have been hell for me. Like, as far as being tired, not having an appetite, my sex drive is gone. Like, diminished. I, my doctor laughed at me today when I told him there could be a penis in front of me right now and I wouldn't even care. I'd just be like, meh. Like, literally, I have no desire. I have no interest like no urge i don't have an appetite i can't sleep my hair oh my god i forgot that part my hair has fallen out so much to the point where i have to cut all my hair off um like i started to notice my hair was falling out last month and all around my hairline that's why my hair is done now because i'm trying to keep it in protective styles so that it'll grow back but all right here it's just broken off all around my hairline my hair is gone like you would look at me and think that I was like going through chemo because my hair is falling out like literally chunks I will brush my hair and big chunks of my hair are just in this like in the shower um which has really like just killed my fucking confidence bro like my hair if you know you know but I had a really bad experience with my hair um about four years ago and I went to get a simple haircut and the lady butchered my hair and cut it all off. And I finally got my hair healthy and I finally got my hair to where I was content and I was happy and I was confident. And then it just started to fall out from the root so that's like really been that has been really really hard on me um trying to deal with my hair falling out and you know on the bright side my my skin has cleared up wonderfully <laughs> but now my hair is falling out so it's just so many different symptoms like i said i'm gonna put them in here but please 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 if you are on depo please get off i cannot stress this enough i wish that i had did my research I wish that I had been informed. I wish that my doctors had taken the time out to, like, realize what was going on. Like, ugh. Just please get off of Depo if you're on it. You know, there's other birth controls. At this point, though, I wouldn't recommend any. My doctor tried to shove the IUD down my throat today, and I looked at him like he was crazy and said, for what? I'm not having sex. I'm not getting on birth control. I'm good. I will never get on birth control again. Like, I don't care it has messed my body up tremendously um and i just i i can't like it's been too much i've been going through so much the last couple months i'm sick like i don't feel good i have no energy it's just been a lot so if you were on depo please reconsider do your research on it i can't tell you what to do but i can tell you what i've went through on it um and it's definitely been a lot so I actually got in touch with an attorney. Um, I am in the process of a lawsuit against not only the hospital, but also Depo um, for, you know, basically not putting all of those symptoms on the black label warning. They only put certain ones, not all of the ones that it could do. Um, and my doctor for not basically practicing proper medical because they should have flagged my account and got me off a of depot years ago and told me I couldn't get back on it. But they continued to give it to me for this many years. So they are in the process of getting sued for medical malpractice. Um, so there's a lot going on. But just if you're on it, just be careful. Pay attention to your body, um, need to say the less. Like just pay attention to your body. Um, if you feel like something is wrong, go to the doctors, get yourself checked out. You know your body if your body don't feel right something's probably not right um so yeah just wanted to get my story out there um because depo has definitely ruined my life the last couple of months um yeah might not seem like it's much to some people but definitely has been rough on me so that's all i just wanted to get my story out there 
get it known that it's not a good drug they try to make you think like oh it'll help you so much it'll keep you from getting pregnant it'll clear your skin up you won't have a period it's not a good birth control um would not recommend it zero stars zero stars um and that's it so i'm gonna drop you know the pictures the screenshots with all of my symptoms on it um and some of the stuff that i found about depo online i'm gonna insert all of that in the video um share your stories share this video if there's somebody else that's been on depo that's going through what i'm going through please share your story email me like my email is in my bio on youtube feel free to email me inbox me if you have me on facebook message me on instagram i don't care but i want to hear your stories i want to hear what you've experienced on depo um and yeah and that's about it that's all Everybody knows, yeah, everybody knows.